Orlando, Florida. I kind of forgot to start the vlog this morning. So I got to the airport and I was like, you know what, I'll just start it in Orlando because what better place to start it off? I'm here, as you probably know if you're watching this, for the Walt Disney World Marathon weekend. I'm getting ready to head to meet my private driver um, that is picking me up from Orlando Transportation by Mike. Absolutely love them. And I should be at Boardwalk in no time. So I'll see you soon. Okay, and like magic, I'm here. Um, again, and this is the last thing I'll say about them, but really, really, really consider using a private car service when you come to Walt Disney World with your family. Obviously, Magical Express would have been great, it would have been free, uh, but my flight touched down at 1.11, and by two o'clock, I am in my room. Um, and you just can't beat it from the point of uh, just ease of travel and uh, Jose who was my driver with Orlando Transportation by Mike thank you that was very easy and he was waiting for me at baggage claim took my bag off the carousel and away we went and here we are in our fabulous room which is 2328 it is on the second floor of the boardwalk inn this is my home for the next five nights and um, I have a really lovely view I'm going to show you guys uh, if you watched my room tour of the boardwalk in club level rooms, this will be a little, little bit of good um, contrast for you to see that there is definitely a difference in the rooms. I mean, basic layout is the same, size is the same. A few of the amenities are not here, but that's okay because I'm still really glad to be here. So let me show you around. All right, so when you walk in, you have just like in the other room tour I showed you guys, you have your uh, disposable coffee cups, which is nice, your coffee maker, your coffee and your creamer, and your refrigerator. Ooh, that's kind of a creaky door. And in here, there is nothing, as opposed to in the other room, that's where all my coffee and tea were, so that's interesting. Um, you walk in here to the beautiful bathroom. Same kind of thing, and actually still great amenities over here, right? Not quite as much. I don't have toothpaste like I did in the last one, but still a shower cap and a vanity cat kit, a mouthwash, the cooling aloe gel, sea salt body lotion, and facial soap, and a nice big double mirror and a makeup mirror just like in the other room and your hair dryer below. Um, <laughs> so, and then we have... <laughs> the dreaded toiletries on the wall. I don't use the shampoo and conditioner that they give anyway, so this is not that big of a deal to me. But just a really lovely shower, lovely shower head, lovely tub with a nice big wide rim, which is nice if you have littles that you're doing a shower for. Nice hooks, I always love that. Um, I don't know why there's no towels on the towel bar. That happened to me last time too, though. So we're another big hook there. Turn that noisy fan off. Sadly, said trombone, um, I have no robe in here. <laughs> That's okay. I do have extra pillow and blanket, iron and ironing board. Walk into the room, really nice, especially for this long of a trip, hooks and a shelf. With all my running gear, that'll be awesome. Really nice big dresser. Two queen size beds. Some more great artwork on the walls. I love this because it's postcards and it says to Mickey and Minnie at Disneyland, having a wonderful time at the boardwalk, Donald and Daisy. That's actually super cute. I didn't ever notice that before. You've got two plugs and four USBs, hopefully all working and your telephone, and your nightstand, which just has the one drawer, and your Bible, thank you Gideons, and a shelf down below. Those pillows, I always get, those are gonna go in two seconds, because I don't do that, I don't touch those. <laughs> I'm not kidding, even at Disney, guys. There is our Disney TV going on. Our lovely picture. This bed, I promise you guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put, the, I brought the tripod this time, I am going to undo this bed so that you can see how big it is. It's a nice, decent size, but we're gonna see how big it is folded out. 
Nice little lamp there. There is our sweet little Minnie Mouse. All my stuff to look at. There's me. And then we actually, this is a garden room, garden view room. And we have a really pretty view of this fountain, gorgeous tree. And then this is the quiet pool, which I really like. Gosh, I need to stop being so loud. But I really like this view and look how close we are. If Scotty and I want to run and, you know, jump in the pool or jump in the hot tub, there's a hot tub right there as well. You just couldn't ask for it to be any closer and it was not a bad walk from the lobby at all. Okay, you guys, I undid it. Obviously you undo those straps, but this is the bed and it just popped open really easily. I'm gonna, um, <laughs> I wonder if I can, well, here, let's walk it so you can see how long it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. I would say that a six foot tall person would be able to sleep on this bed. And let's see if we think it's comfortable. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty comfortable too. So, you know, I mean, I'm just trying to, hold on, let me flip this up so I can see what I'm doing. My head is here. I can, I'm five foot six and I could easily sleep comfortably on this bed. You can see how wide it is. Ugh, that's probably dirty. Um, so it's a, it's a decent sized twin size bed. <laughs> Wanted to make sure you guys saw this. I just love that little detail. Mickey and Minnie in their roadster, so fun. Oh, I didn't see these last time, you guys, look. There's little hidden Mickeys on the legs of the furniture. That is so cool. I need to like look for all of the, oh, there's more hidden Mickeys, look at that. And on that lamp as well. Boy, this room's just got hidden Mickeys everywhere. I bet there's a lot more that I'll be able to find. At the risk of you guys thinking I am weirder than you already think I am, I thought I would take a minute and talk about this very odd thing that I do whenever I get into a hotel room. And yes, even when I am traveling with my kids, I make everybody take a few minutes and unpack. Um, I have this weird thing where I just don't feel like a hotel room is actually mine until I have kind of taken a minute, wiped some things down maybe with a little antibacterial wipe. You know, it's just a thing. So I'm gonna show you really quick how I organize my hotel room. I do insist on doing this whenever we vacation and wherever we vacation. Uh, it drives my kids crazy. They will usually be sitting on the couch or the bed screaming at me, come on, come on, come on, come on. But I find taking literally that extra 15 minutes now is gonna make my evening better and my next six days really a lot more comforting and comfortable because I know where everything is and everything has a home. I know, what can I tell you? So there's my bag ready to go to the expo. I decided to go ahead and take my bigger backpack. There's nothing in it right now, but I may do some shopping. Um, this is, you will probably already have seen these by the time this goes up, but these are the signs that I made. Um, where I cheer, I'm pretty close, so they'll be able to read this. It says, five out of a thousand people have ever run a marathon. In two miles, you will be one of them. So I'm hoping that that is, um, you know, motivating to somebody that is at that last part and, and really needs that little boost. Um, I have fully utilized our hooks over here. Um, I already have my jacket hung up. That's my DVC jacket. I have my various hats. I have my mini ears. I have my smaller bag that will be for park touring, plus my Alice bag. My camera bag is right here because I don't need to take everything and my sunglasses. So I've really gotten a lot of storage out of that. All of the drawers are already filled. I've got um, costumes in here. And as you can see, I usually utilize the packing cubes in the drawers. Um, I've got all the stuff ready to go so I won't be stressed about you know the, getting ready for the race. I've tucked away my extra carry-on and my suitcase. Those are all nicely tucked away there. All of my clothes are hung up. The only thing I didn't get out was my flip-flops and those are still in that one packing cube. So I will put those down there to join their friends. And then in the bathroom, of course, I've already gotten all my toiletries out. My toothbrush is ready for tonight. My hanging toiletry kit is ready to go. And I know for some people, oh, and my flattening, flattening iron, straightening iron is down there. And I know some of you are like, girl, what is wrong with you? You just got to Disney, get out there. I don't know. I just like, 
and just like I take a minute, I don't know what to tell you, but now I really am going to the expo. So before I go into the expo, I thought I would just kind of give you guys a lay of the land when you get dropped off. I did end up taking uh, the buses because there happened to be one right there waiting for me, which was perfect. And they've changed the bus drop off area. So I feel like it's closer now. I don't know, maybe I'm making that up. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. Um, so after all my big talk about making sure that I had my waivers printed out, guess who left her waivers in her oh so organized travel binder? This girl. Okay, you guys, I think I need to get these. There is a three pack of limited release pins for the 10K and then this is for the half. And since I don't get a challenge medal for doing those two, I think I need to get the pins. That feels like a good call. I also think I need a basket. By the way, if you're wondering when to come to the expo, clearly <laughs> three o'clock on Thursday is your magic time. Look it, there are no lines anywhere. Even the line for Mickey was very minimal. There's the marathon I did it shirts. Goofy I did it shirts. Yeah, you guys, there's like nobody in here. This is awesome. I think maybe for the first time ever, I actually purchased nothing. Those pins that I picked up that I thought I wanted were $50 for the three pins. I may go back in and like just buy the half marathon one and the 10K one, but ugh, man. You could buy the whole thing for, I think it was $80 for all of the pins for all of the races. Is it 80 or 180? I don't know. Anyway, too much, too rich for my blood. I'm in a frugal frame of mind since we just purchased that, those old Key West points. That'll, that'll do it. Make a purchase like that before you go to Disney. It will help you not spend your money. But the reality is, this is my ninth marathon weekend. I have so much marathon merch, marathon weekend merch. I just don't need it. And you know what? I got three kids in college, so let's just be smart for once. Let's see if that lasts for the whole weekend or if I end up finding something I can't live without, hoping that that lasts the whole weekend. All right, off to get my bib. Ah! Oh, here's where all the people are. It's true, Miley. Your wisdom. It is a party in the USA. Look at that. Susan! <laughs> it's Susan, everyone! That was crazy. <laughs> That was so crazy. <laughs> are you talking to Allison? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, how's your day so far? So far, so good. Susie's getting this um, BFF Pro, right? Yeah. Electric foam roller. Okay. Amazing. I know, right? Okay, I feel like everybody's here. We were just looking at the Aftershocks. Everybody knows how much I love Aftershocks. I wanna show you guys. So these are the ones I'm always telling you about, and then these are the new ones, 133 and 90. 90. So I love mine, but if I were gonna get new ones, I would spring for those, so thank you. <laughs> okay, so I am doing this free health screening by Cigna, and I've talked to you guys that I'm going to a lunch by them tomorrow, and I was like, hey, might as well stop by and get a free health screening and see how I'm doing. So they took my information, and I'm gonna go in and, I don't know, seemed like a good idea. We'll see. So that was really interesting. I have never done that before. It was a Cigna health screening. I filled out a little thing, gave my consent. They gave me, actually took a little bit of my blood. Hmm. Um, just a finger stick, no big deal. And they gave me my cholesterol. They weighed me, they did my height, told me my BMI, told me my blood pressure. Amazing. Um, I always go in for my annual physicals, which I recommend that everyone does, but if you were someone that hasn't gotten around to that, or if you were a little concerned going into race day, totally free, totally quick, took 15 minutes, and uh, good job, Cigna. That was actually really fun. So the things you can do at the expo, get your cholesterol checked. <laughs> 
So the expo was super fun with uh, my friends uh, Jody and Susan, who you've seen Susie before on Alice and WDW Girls blogs because it's her mom. So that was fun and we hung out and now I made a very last minute decision to come over here to Yacht Club because I'm starving. And I really shouldn't have waited this long for dinner, but I did. So I'm gonna walk over to Ale and Compass because, you know, I'm still fighting this cold and I kind of really want a solid meal. So I came over to Yacht Club and we will see if they have a table for me and if I can get them to feed me. I mean, in exchange for money, but. <laughs> so they did have room for me, yay. I'm walking in this kind of corridor between Yacht Club and Beach Club and Ale and Compass was able to seat me. Huge bonus, 20% off right now for um, annual pass holders, so that's a big deal. Hold on, I'm gonna show you where I am. Stormalong Bay, my favorite pool in all of Walt Disney World. And this would have been my favorite time to be in there with my kids. When it's nice and warm in the pool, it's cold out here. <laughs> Love this pool. Ale and Compass. I had not eaten dinner there since it reopened years ago. Changed over from Captain's Grill not that long ago. Two years ago, I think. Anyway, yum. Oh my gosh. So I had the sustainable fish, the mahi-mahi, and it had like a, a polenta, is that what it's called? And uh, spinach, and it was so good. I can't even tell you guys. So, um, and then when I found out I had a 20% discount, my bill was only $26 with tip. Are you kidding? So, anyway, the food of this trip, the food of this trip is off to a really good start. <laughs> to be clear that it is a little chilly. <laughs> I should have had my other jacket on, but I stayed out later than I intended to, which is a common problem for me at Walt Disney World, but um, that's okay. And I'm gonna go to the screen door, which is the little gift shop here at the boardwalk. I need to get some bottled water, some snacks, and I need to find something to eat for before the 10K, because. Even though it's just a 10K, I'm still gonna want a little something in my stomach before I go run for an hour and some change. So, um, look behind me, you guys. Is it so pretty? It's not, it's nowhere close to as freezing cold as it was last year. I mean, not even close. So I will not complain at all. I think I probably already said this, but again, with the Ale and Compass, great service, great food, great atmosphere. And for those of you who maybe come to Disney solo sometimes, like I do, don't ever feel freaked out about eating by yourself here. The servers are always so sweet and kind and I just never feel weird. And you know, I could have done like the, just pizza or something, but I've been traveling and I, I wanted something substantial. You know, you just like, I want food. So um, yeah, it was a really, really good meal. So hopefully I've, had a long enough day that I can go to bed early tonight and at least get a few hours of good sleep in before it's time to wake up and run the Minnie Mouse 10K. So I'm finally back in the room and I ended up, instead of going to the screen door, I went to Boardwalk Bakery and it kind of surprised me what they had. Normally this is what I would get at the gift shop, but a lot of times they're out of kind of the runner type of food. so show you. I was able to get um, some hard-boiled eggs, some yogurt, and then in here I have a scone and a croissant and a bagel. That way I have choices in the morning. So I think it's like around, I don't know, maybe 7.30 and um, still not feeling like I'm 100%, so I am going to take a hot shower, settle myself down. So I wanted to show you guys um, my bibs. I will have already run the races by the time you see this, so it's not a big deal for me to show you my bibs. Feel free to go and look up my time. I'm sure it was mediocre. <laughs> 
but in a happy way. Love the color on the 10K shirt. Like, could not be happier with that. Um, oops, sorry, that's the half marathon shirt. Love the color on the half marathon shirt. Love the color on the 10K shirt. They are both long sleeved, which is traditional for marathon weekend. Show you. I'm gonna have Run Disney and the Epcot ball on the sleeve. So looking forward to wearing those uh, later on in the week. I got two drop bags. So for those of you, if I've talked to you about uh, bag check before, I don't think they do bag check stickers in advance anymore. I think everybody just marks them when they're there. Not sure if I'm gonna do a, a checked bag for the 10K yet, but they did give me two. So I have bag check for the 10K and bag check for the half marathon and I am ready to go. Oh, and of course my safety pins. Okay, so that's it. I am gonna go to bed. Um, it's been a really fun day. It's been a little disorienting day because with the travel and the expo and, and all of that, but I got to see some fun friends. So all of that was good and dinner was amazing. Um, yeah, and of course I'm here at the boardwalk so I feel very cozy and happy here. So anyway, tomorrow, 2.30 a.m., ding. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.